We're in the basement of the aquarium at the Q room, we call it. It's our quarantine room. I have some cold water sharks, two species, the swell shark and the chain cat shark. We've had these swell sharks living off exhibit for a couple years now, but this is the first time we've had a successful hatch of an egg. I've never raised these sharks, so being a cold water shark, I knew the eggs would take a lot longer to develop. And I've been candling them, watching their development as they go, but I really didn't know what to expect as far as when they would hatch. So this morning when we came through just checking things, we found one of the baby sharks had come out of its egg. The swell sharks get uh, three and a half, maybe even up to four feet. They're a really heavy bodied shark, but this baby shark, you'd never know what, it, what it's gonna grow into. It's a very small, it's about four inches now, just extremely small shark. These swell sharks are found on the California and Oregon coasts. They tend to be in the cold waters and a little bit deeper. We call them glow sharks because they biofluoresce. They reflect light in a very fluorescent manner. This biofluorescence that these particular sharks exhibit, we believe it's kind of the way they can see each other. In the deeper parts of the ocean where they live, only the blue light is able to penetrate the ocean water. So they're seen in a blue light, but their eye has a, a bit of a yellow lens on it. So if we dove down and saw them with the naked eye, they just look brown and mottled. You, you don't really see them, they blend in really well. But because the way their eye works, we think that they see each other with this fluorescence like that. The larger sharks, you know, you may have seen footage of a live birth of a shark. A lot of the little guys have eggs. So when we see the egg, it's not like any egg I've ever seen. You know, they're very unique. And until you understand what they are, it, it looks like otherworldly. They tend to be brownish yellow, kind of helps them blend in. And then you'll see some tendrils on the egg case itself. That'll allow the female shark to kind of wrap those tendrils around uh, either the base of a plant or a rock or kind of anchor that egg so it doesn't just blow away in the current or be vulnerable to predation. When we have eggs coming from the adults, like that's exciting just in itself. We know we have good reproduction, but then to come in and actually see that go full circle and come to fruition and have the, the baby shark hatch out of its egg is really exciting. 